that is the only thing that matters is the actual application you cannot sit and be idle and do nothing you have to apply the things that you learned in the past you know in order to crush those goals Hey guys and welcome back to my channel my name is Shamir Elaine for those of you who are new for those of you who are not new thank you all so much for coming back and supporting everything I do here with my channel on this channel I focus all on health locks and lifestyle if you're into that type of content I hope that you stick around by the title of this video I'm going to be sharing with you all things that I wish I knew before actually attended grad school if this is your first grad school series video I will highly suggest that you check out my other three or four videos that I have regarding grad school. I think that these videos are very informative, especially for those of you who are thinking about going to grad school in the near future. So I would definitely check those videos out first before watching this video, okay? So I'll be here when you get back after watching all those videos <laughs> if you have watched those videos then let's get into this one okay but before we do one make sure that you're subscribed to my channel two give this video a thumbs up and three make sure you leave me a comment down in the comment section below once this video is over with okay let's get into it the very first thing that i wish i knew before attending grad school was that for my specific program that i was not going to be able to choose any of my own classes it may sound super weird to you all but due to the type of program that i was in all of our classes were chosen for us and unfortunately i hated it okay I hated that our classes were chosen for us simply because you don't really get to choose what you're interested in to say the least. It's like the curriculum is already preset. So I kind of wish that I truly understood that before committing to the program. That is the, definitely one thing that I would make sure to check when you are looking into the programs and things like that. Look at if the classes are already preset or if you're able to choose your own set of classes and also add in electives and other classes of that nature. That is probably the only thing and I think the reason I feel that way is because when you're coming from undergrad and you get to choose all of your classes you kind of miss that <laughs> you kind of miss mixing and matching and choosing what fits you best and what interests you most and unfortunately for grad school it isn't always like that the second thing that I wish I knew before going to grad school even though I feel like I had a little bit of knowledge regarding this concept was that I was not going to have enough time to actually work. So the thing about me, especially if you are new to my channel, was when I first entered grad school, I knew that I had to work. You know, I knew that I had to work my way through grad school, especially because my program did not have any assistantships. They did not have any grants, anything like that to kind of help aid my uh, tuition and things like that. And so also essentially help pay me through grad school so it was really really difficult having to work on top of classes internship practicum and all of that so I wish I would have understood exactly how much time I would have actually had to work a job now the thing about my program in specific is at least from what I remember is when I signed up for the program they were only having classes in the evening that way it allows for people like myself or other older people to work a full-time job during the day and then to go to classes at night however that quickly started to change over the course of the semesters which is why my school schedule and my work schedule started to interfere with one another because the classes ended up being earlier in the day opposed to at night like it originally was and it just conflicted with my work schedule so I didn't have a lot of time to work and I would oftentimes miss class to go to work to be able to pay bills that is the reality of how my situation was so I wish I could have just known a little bit more about the time that I would have to work with now going along with that another thing that I also wish I knew before going to grad school was how to effectively budget and use my refund wisely again so my first year classes were in the evening so I was able to work 
pretty much a full-time job uh, throughout the day and then go to classes at night and I was also getting a refund so I was pretty good on money like my first year however I didn't think ahead to like create a savings plan and budget and you know do all of that stuff like I wish I would have done that before during my first year when I was accumulating so much money because once second year came around and the schedule for classes changed along with my work schedule I found myself scraping for funds you know and had I planned earlier in the year during my first year I probably wouldn't have went through the financial struggles ensuring that I did my second year so I just wish that I knew more about budgeting and more about saving and things like that especially for my refund that is probably a big one <laughs> a, a huge big one so I would highly suggest even if you're an undergrad really look for towards those resources that help you budget and help you save if you are getting a refund like i think that we have this culture of when you get a refund that's just money to blow instead of like actually saving and investing it into a fund if you ever have to go through situations like i did where things just change you know things just change and your financial situation just changes so it's good to have a backup an emergency fun to kind of help you through that process so yeah that is probably one of the biggest things that I wish I knew before going to grad school the next thing that I wish I knew before actually going to grad school was how to effectively study and how to block off time to actually do my homework now coming from undergrad I think that I had this idea I had this perception that I knew how to study that I knew how to manage my time and things like that because I was juggling so many things at once in undergrad I was in a lot of like extracurricular activities as well as working a job and then going to classes so you're learning how to balance you know your homework studying for exams and stuff like that in the midst of all of that time however like when you go to grad school the work is a little bit more intense and a little bit more uh, focused on one subject so you really want to make sure that you're attending to it instead of doing so many different things at once and I think I got so used to multitasking that I was trying to do the same thing in grad school which did not work for me it just did not work for me I needed to learn how to block off huge chunks of time to devote to homework studying and things like that so that I can truly truly focus on my craft and I just don't think that I did that quite well <laughs> in grad school I my grades were pretty good but I do think that had I learned how to effectively study and manage my time more effectively I think I just would have been a little bit more engaged and you know the process of learning and the last thing that I wish I knew before actually going to grad school was to just take my time and choosing a career field like I think that that I don't regret anything but I do sometimes wish that I took more time to really delve deep into the things that I wanted to accomplish after I got out of undergrad and just really focus and train my mind to enhance the skills that I was already working on in undergrad, um, enhance all of the skills that I use for uh, like my leisure activities and just really like looking at the things that I'm really, really good at and the things that really, really bring me joy and find the careers that align with that. I just wish I would have took more time. Not saying that I should have taken time after undergrad, but just even if it was taking some time during undergrad, taking some time after undergrad, it doesn't matter. I just wish that I would have taken more time to truly focus on what I wanted to do as a career for the rest of my life. And then looking at the goals and the dreams and all of my aspirations and looking at how to actually map it out and get there. I don't think that I did that at all. So so my advice especially to those of you who are still in undergrad is it is not too early to start thinking about your career it is not too early to start thinking about the goals that you want to accomplish when you're 25 when you're 30 when you're 35 um, because it kind of gives you a, a it helps create a bigger stepping stone for you when you're wanting to choose a career you know and not choosing something just based on convenience or just because you just have this thought in your head you have truly thought things through 
and understand that this career can get you to the goal that you have at age 30 you know so just really take that time to figure out yourself and the things that you like and the things that you truly do want to accomplish and then choose a career field based on that and then my advice to those of you who have already chosen a career field that you are not happy with I do think that a part of the process of finding the things that you do like is going through the things that you don't like unfortunately I mean it really isn't unfortunate though because I do think that it is a way of you getting to know yourself and I am a huge <laughs> a firm believer that you know things aren't mistakes you know things aren't you know a waste of time they are all lessons learned and they are essentially teaching you more about yourself your personality your skill sets and what you actually want to use them towards so even though you are in a career field that you do not like you can choose to stay which most people do actually i won't say most a lot of people do stay in jobs that they don't like which is fine there's nothing wrong with that but if you are someone who don't want to stay in that same place you just need to take what you learned and then venture on and apply it to someplace else you know and i think that that's where i'm at and just figuring out what i actually like and what i actually want to accomplish by the time that i'm 30 you know what career field is going to give get me closer to that place you know i'm not looking at everything that has happened to me as a step back or a mistake anymore you know because i have felt like that but now it's time to take what i've learned and apply it that is the only thing that matters is the actual application you cannot sit and be idle and do nothing you have to apply the things that you learned in the past you know in order to crush those goals that's the whole point okay <laughs> so i believe in you i am definitely going to keep you all abreast of my journey and where i end up and just what i decide to do later on in life pretty much i definitely have some goals that i want to accomplish so i'm just trying to align my mind and align my heart with what that actually looks like um again just learning more about myself and looking at the things that i don't like and the things that i do like so definitely going to keep you all updated with that i hope that you enjoyed this video i know that these are just my thoughts and like my experiences but i really do hope that it reaches and it touches someone who is in the process of thinking about grad school and attending grad school and they just don't have the resources or the people nearby to help assist them with truly making that decision these videos are really just to keep people informed of the grad school process what people actually go through in grad school and then post grad school you know so this is just another resource for those of you who don't have any because I don't feel like I had as much so I hope that you all enjoyed this video again make sure you check out my other grad school series videos and then I have one more grad school video that you all should be on the lookout for but until that time thank you all so much for tuning into this video again make sure you subscribe to my channel if you made it this far if you may, if you watch the whole video and you not subscribe, I'm not judging, but you should support me, okay? But anyway, give this video a thumbs up and then leave me any comments, questions, or concerns that you may have about grad school down in the comment section below and I'll be sure to answer them for you all. Um, until next time, thank you all so much for watching this video and I'll definitely see you guys in my next one. Bye!